so my previous two recordings, um, I tackled some, uh, I, I guess some, or I presented some pretty large works, large scale works, um, works that had been part of my repertoire sometimes, uh, in, in some cases for a very long time um, that I'd always wanted to record. And so you might wonder, is the Goldberg the next step in the sort of uh, giant masterpiece um, uh, trend? Um, and I suppose you could see it that way. Uh, I, the Bach uh, has been <laughs> strangely a part of my, my working, I've been working on that for about 10 years at the same time I was doing all of these other things. And um, that piece I approached in a much more methodical way. Um, it's also uh, completely different from what I normally do. I, I normally do 19th century romantic um, I've kind of gone a little bit more into early 20th century music, uh, but Baroque is not something that is largely represented in my repertoire, and so I consider that actually a little bit of a deviation from what I've done before. Um, and I, I don't know how much, <laughs> how much bigger I could go than the Goldberg in some ways. That's a, that's a big hunk of music, and I, I didn't really do it because it was a big hunk of music. I did it because I really, really love the music. I just felt like it was one of those things I had to do. Um, even if it were only for myself, I had to do it because it just meant that much to me. So. I've been working on Goldberg. I started it uh, officially about 10 years ago, um, although it was a, a kind of a back burner project. I would sort of work on it every time I wasn't doing something else. Um, and then about five years ago, I decided I was ready to, or maybe four years ago, five years ago, I was ready to uh, do my first performance. Um, and it was certainly eye opening, and I recognized that. Um, you know, kind of what a, uh, a journey that is. And so in the beginning, I did a 40 minute version. So I did the, I did the Goldberg without any repeats and that felt like I had just run six marathons. Uh, and then little by little, I added um, a repeat here or there. So the next time I came out uh, six, it was the, uh, six years into the project, I did a 60 minute version. So I did some of the repeats. Um, so the, um, in this last uh, six months, I've had a sabbatical from my university and uh, the, the point of the sabbatical was to be able to perform the Goldberg Variations as many times as I possibly could in preparation for this recording and also to perform it in, in the, full, uh, the full version, meaning all the repeats um, that I wanted to do, which is all but the very last one. Um, and so, and also to be able to put in ornaments and, and really shape it in my own way. Um, and so it's been very interesting. Sometimes I was playing it three times a week and the ability to just have that experience of running from beginning to end and also to be able to have a very quick turnaround on deciding what I wanted to change or do differently or maybe even just to try something within two days was certainly a much different experience. Um, previously it was, you know, maybe a couple months between or a month between or uh, maybe I'd play it once and then not play it again for another bit of time. So this was definitely, um, it was both very intensive because I was playing it a lot, but it was also um, I really had a lot of time to fill out all, feel out all the different corners.
moment to to uh, listen to this recording. Uh, I would say um, the Goldberg has been recorded by so many people um, and artists that are uh, tower above above all. Um, and yet, I think that there is always room for a, a personal statement. And um, I guess I can't. I can't necessarily evaluate this so well for myself, but I've been told by other people, um, other people than my mom, that um, my interpretation is actually rather unique and, and very personal. And so it presents uh, just a different way of listening, a different way of hearing it. Um, and the music anyway has uh, so many possibilities that it's always uh, uh, an exciting process. No matter who I think plays it, there's always something uh, new to hear and um, new to experience. So this is just my particular take on it. And, you know, I bring m my history, my Americanness, my education, my love of 19th century music. Um, and, and so all of those things get wrapped up into how I feel about the piece. And so, uh, that's my particular uh, concoction. The end.